वेलकम टू फ्लड टीचर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न दिस स्विच केस इनिशियली आई विल एक्सप्लेन बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्विच केस अलॉन्ग विथ द एग्जाम्पल प्रोग्राम एंड फाइनली आई विल टॉक अबाउट की पॉइंट्स इन दिस स्विच केस दैट एवरी फ्लटर एंड दैट डेवलपर मस्ट नो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड स्विच केस इज द मल्टी वे डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट दैट इज इट अलाउज यू टू सिलेक्ट वन ऑप्शन आउट ऑफ द सेवरल अवेलेबल ऑप्शन This is what the syntax of switch case is. Now try to understand each and every part of the syntax. In this syntax, the switch case break and the default they are the keywords in Dart. The expression in switch is can be of type integer, double, boolean, string, enum, and it can be also of type class. Normally, we use expression as the variable against which the comparison has to be done. The value one, value two, value n are known as the case level, and these are the constant. And make sure that this case level must have a colon written here. Block one, block two, block n, and even the default block. These are actually the statement, or maybe a block of statement that you want to execute as a part of switch case. Let's understand how switch case works. The expression is first evaluated. and the result of expression is compared against each case level it means the result of expression is compared with value 1 so if the result of expression matches with value 1 then the block 1 will execute and due to break control will jump out of the switch case and if it is not matching with value 1 then the result of expression is compared with value 2 so if it matches with value 2 then the block 2 that is the statement written here will execute and due to break control will transfer out of the switch case now even if it is not matching with value 1 value 2 it will be compared with value n so if it matches with value n then the block 1 will execute and due to break it goes out of the switch case now consider a situation that none of this case is match then in this case the statement written in default that is the default block will execute and finally executing the default block it will jump out of the switch case make sure that the default block will only execute when there is no match with the case Let's look at this example. Here I have a variable called color code with the value g, and based on the value of color code, I simply want to print the color. That is, I want to print red when color code is r. I want to print green when it is g, and I want to print blue when it is b. And I just want to print other color if it is none of the red, green, and blue. So we can see I have made the use of switch case. Here color code is my expression, and what will happen? the result of expression that is the value of color code is compared with this case r now in this case the color code value g so it won't match with the first case now it will come down and it will check out for the second case that is for the g now in this case it will found to match and this print statement will run and due to break control will jump out of the switch case and when i run this you can see i will get output green on the screen however if i change it to small b in this case the first case that is the case r won't match even not the case g and the case b will match and when i rerun the program you can see i will get the output blue on the console let's say i have changed it to x that is it's not a valid color of my choice and when i run the program you can see as none of this case is matching here it will print the statement in default that is the other color i hope it's pretty clear for you guys what the switch case is and how it works with this simple example now let's understand the key points to use with the switch case the first is each case label must have a unique value consider that i have a case label with the value r and again i want case label with value r here now in this case of course i'm not getting an error but i'm getting information that do not use more than one case with the same value now you might have a question what will happen if i run this program in this case the first case whichever is matched that will run and this case won't have any chance for execution okay sorry i need to change my value here let's say i made it r again and if i run it you can see the first case that is for r is matching and this case is not getting executed the second is the type of expression must match with the type of case label you can see in this case i have expression in the form of string that is the color code is in the form of string and even my case labels are in the form of string so the type is matching here that's why this is a perfect valid program 
But if I change my expression type to integer, let's say I make int here and I specify the value as zero. Now in this case, immediately I'm getting an error. The reason here is the type of this expression must match with the type of these case labels. The third point is the case label must be in the form of constants. You can see I have the small r, small g and small b in the form of constant. But let's say if I'm trying to make it as a variable. So I just want to say string code is in the form of let's say b and what I want to do instead of this b in the form of constant I simply want to place a code here. Now as soon as I place a code here you can see I'm getting an error and it says the case expression must be a constant. The fourth point is use of default in switch case is purely optional. So you can ignore the default if you don't want to do anything when none of your case match. In this case you can see the value of color code is R. That's the reason when I run the program I'm getting the output read here. But let's say if I change my value to X and of course it's not matching with any of these cases and if I remove the default this program is perfectly fine. There is no error in the program but if I run it then there won't be any output from the switch on console. Fifth point is regarding the break. Let's say I'm removing a break here. You can see I will get error here. It says the case should not complete normally. It means the break is expected here. But if I remove the print statement from here, you can see this code works fine. It means the break is compulsory only when the case has a block or it has a statement. But if my case don't have any block or any statement, then in this case, the break is purely optional. Now you might have a question, what will happen if I run such a program? Now you can see in this case the value of color code is R. So this R will match here and as there is no statement here then it will simply jump to next case and I will get out green on the console. You might have a question is it really worth to have these kind of cases without a break? Yes of course we have. Consider I want to match my cases with the small letter as well as for the capital letters then I can change my program to this one. Now you can see in this program I have the cases without break. If value of color code is small r or even if it is capital R, then both these cases works and it gives me output rate. Let's understand. If the values are, if I run this, I will get the output rate here. And if I change the value to capital R and even if I run this, I will get the output rate. So for both small r and capital R, this program works fine. Even if I change it to let's say capital B and if I run it, then it gives me blue here. The last point is if you want to use switch case for the expression of type class that is for your own user defined type. In this case your class must overload the operator called equals to equals to. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I am explaining the concept then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.